Thierry Henry's remarks regarding Mohamed Salah of Liverpool clinching the 2024 Ballon d'Or. The esteemed forward believes that the outcome of international tournaments significantly influences the winner of the prestigious individual award. This was evident when Lionel Messi, following an average season with PSG, clinched the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, excelling as one of the tournament's best players, subsequently securing his eighth Ballon d'Or. Thierry Henry suggests that the upcoming Euros in Germany will carry more weight than the Africa Cup of Nations, which may not favor Egypt's Mohamed Salah. Henry conveyed this perspective to CBS Sports on Paramount Plus on November 8, 2023. Despite Salah's stellar start to the season with Liverpool, Henry and his peers debated the potential Ballon d'Or winner in the absence of Messi and Ronaldo, with Salah's name being brought into the conversation. Mohamed Salah, Ballon d'Or. On the increasing significance of international football in determining the Ballon d'Or winner, yes, it is the year of a major tournament, for someone like Mo Salah, it's challenging, remarked Henry. Although there's the Africa Cup of Nations, the attention is more on the Euros. The impact of the Euros and the World Cup is distinct. It's primarily due to the prominence of these tournaments. If you perform well, like Bellingham at Real Madrid, then your chances are high. Mohamed Salah's performance. There is a likelihood that this season could mark Salah's farewell with Liverpool, even if the fans wish otherwise. The possibility of a lucrative offer from Saudi Arabia looms, and it will be intriguing to observe how both Liverpool and Salah respond to a substantial financial proposal. Regardless, the 31-year-old has, unsurprisingly, been Liverpool's standout player this season. The team's inconsistent defence appears to be the only factor hindering their strong contention for the Premier League title. Currently, the Reds are in the title race, but the true test begins post-February, raising questions about Liverpool's continued competitiveness at that stage.